Hi everybody, this is John Clayton. It's the Yankee Redneck getting all kind of liggy lines on. Day day, I'm telling you now, I'm going to show you that way. I come in for the close-up. But them glasses, they make them wiggy lines. They go, woo. So how you doing? They call me B-Master. I'm going to sit here like this and just say hi to y'all now. Now, a lot of people call me the Yankee Redneck. Some people, they call me the Redneck Yankee. Now, I don't know. I look all the different, and I cannot find it. But I'll tell you what, we'll be talking about something else today. Today we're going to talk about the Obama administration. Now, Obama been in office for three and a half years. And we got this $14 quadrillion debt. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. I miss Bill Clinton. I didn't like Bill Clinton, but I go out to dinner with Bill Clinton because I liked Bill Clinton when he was out of office. That don't mean, you know, I didn't like him when he was in office, but he didn't like him when he was out of office. But I do, or today I like Bill Clinton. Now, I'll tell you what, I like Ronald Reagan a whole lot more. He'd be the first man i vote for for president. I was 20 years old, first time I could vote for a president, and there he was. Ronald Reagan standing up there, all wiggly and stuff like that, you know, and and I thought he was the man for me, the tougher man for me. But this Obama man, how can you take Obama seriously? He causes more debt than he discures. I take that a word. He discures them debt. That's what he do. But you know, you got the Republican candidates. Now, the Republican candidates, they go hardly ho. That's what the B-Master say. He, he, you know, I would like the Mitt Romney, for example. Now, the Mitt Romney, he going to go all the way to the end of the convention. And that's if, you know, you got Santorum. He decide he going to stick in there. And Ron Paul, he, I, mean, yeah, I like Ron Paul. I probably would have really voted for him 45 years ago. Where you been, Ron Paul? I mean, I know you're so far left that you make Clinton look like a stop sign. I don't know what that means. But, you know, I like Ron Paul. Nobody give a better concession speech than Ron Paul after a candidate election night. Now, if you want somebody who give a longer one, well, then you're going to have to go to Mitt Romney. Now, Mitt Romney, uh, nah, that's a bad No, I didn't mean that. You have to go to Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich, he give us...